Hello, it's Bini here. In this tutorial, I'd like to share with you how you can draw equidistance channel in MetaTrader 4. Right, to draw uh, equidistance channel, look for this button that shows E here. It says draw equidistance channel. Click on that. And then once you click on it, you'll be able to see this uh, sort of like double line on your cursor on your mouse. And you can start off with drawing either a up sloping channel or down sloping channel. Now, usually when the trend is up, we will draw a up sloping channel at the two bottom, the two lows, the two turning points. Important thing is the two turning points and then shift it up higher, all right, so that it connects to the high between the two lows here. So you can see that these are the two lows that I used to draw the good distance channel. And when you look up, then there will be a high here that you can use it to connect, all right. So this will be always the rule. Either you can start to draw on, let's say, a two highs. Okay, let me just draw that. The two highs, like this. And these two highs would be a turning point already. And then shift the line lower. That means I shift the parallel line lower. And then fix it to the point that the low point that's between the two highs. Okay, now what is the purpose of the equidistance channel? It is used to predict the fourth point. That means that once you have the first point and let's say the second point, you can use it to draw on the third point to predict your fourth point. So you can use it to understand whether there is a support there or there is a resistance there. Now, the second use of the channel is for you to know whether there is a breakout. So for example, if price is moving in this instant here, all right, in a down sloping channel, then at somewhere around this place, that price broke above the channel resistance to continue to move higher. Now, next is then, let's say for example, I have a uh, current level here, which I do not know whether it fits the concept of channel. So we can always explore a little bit more, right? Uh, the key thing to drawing a channel is to draw on a confirmed turning point. So you must always use a confirmed turning point to draw your channels. Now, a lot of you guys might not be able to find that confirmed turning point. We can use zigzag to help us to get that turning point. So in my next chart is I'm going to turn on the zigzag. That means to put in the zigzag indicator. All right, you can see on my chart, I have the zigzag indicator inserted already. I'm using the default setting. All right, with zigzag indicator, it's easy to find that turning point. So we have this as a confirmed turning point. So this is a confirmed turning point. This one is also a confirmed turning point, And this one is also... Now this is not, okay? That means that we haven't seen that U shape or inverted U shape yet. So we cannot confirm that it is a confirmed turning point. However, we can use channel to help us predict whether this point here is going to be a, um, you know, a support or a resistance. So very easily, since we have two low points, that's a confirmed turning point, we can draw the equidistance channel based on the two lows. So I'm just going to click on this two here, which is draw equidistance channel and connect the first set of lines to the two points. Okay, so that's the two points I've connected. And then look in between the two lows, all right? And then you find that there's a high point here. We can shift the second line to the top. Right, which is to the high point. Right, so same thing. I'm trying to predict that in this downward channel, whether this place here is near to a resistance. Which means that if the channel is going to be um, the movement of price, then I'm expecting that there could be some form of a resistance here, and then price might be bouncing off this channel as a trade, and that we can have a uh, trade plan. And if price is out of the channel, that means either it broke above it or continue to go lower, then we can work on a new channel to start to draw new channels again. But otherwise, I will be assuming that price is moving within this channel. Alright, so hope that you like this video on how to draw a channel. It's a short and sweet video. And if you do like um, the content, please remember to subscribe because I will be publishing new content as and when uh, they are made available.